Hello, this is Melissa Cole, Curator of the Oshawa Community Museum. I would like to thank you for joining me today for our monthly podcast. This month's podcast features a very unique chair from the OCM collection. This particular chair was donated to the museum by Beverly Clark, knee Guy, in 1985. Beverly Clark is a descendant of Thomas Guy, Jr. According to the Guy story by Gertrude MacLeod, this pre or prayer chair belonged to Harriet Cock, also known as Granny Cock. She was the mother of Harriet Cock Guy, Thomas Guy Jr.'s first wife. When Granny Cock came to Canada, she brought along with her two life-sized portraits, a mahogany table, and seven prayer chairs. This is one of seven chairs. The round mahogany table is currently on display in the dining room of Henry House. Granny Cock's life-size portrait is on display in the Verna Conant Gallery in Guy House. Granny Cock was known to have a colorful personality. She was the only daughter of John Trevithick, a prosperous cooper who owned a barrel factory near Cornwall, England. In 1818, she married William Cock, and shortly after their marriage gave birth to their only daughter, Harriet. Sadly, William passed away in 1819 just one year after their marriage, leaving the fortune from his flourishing grocery business to his wife and daughter. In 1846, Harriet made the long journey from England to Canada with her daughter and her son-in-law, Thomas Guy, Jr. Once here, Harriet purchased four pieces of land in Oshawa, just over 250 acres. She also purchased land on Georgian Bay. She settled and built a home for herself and one for her servants along Simcoe Street North just south of the 6th Concession on Winchester Road. She wheeled this property, approximately 100 acres of lots 13 and 14, in the 5th Concession of East Whitby to her great-grandson, John Trevithick Guy. This is an exquisite solid mahogany prayer chair, with ornate carvings reflective of the Gothic Revival, also called Victorian Gothic style. Gothic furniture borrows many design elements from the original Gothic cathedrals in Europe. Notre Dame, the famous cathedral in Paris, is built in this style. A second period of popularity for the Gothic style, known as Gothic Revival, began in England during the 19th century. This time it was not limited to religious architecture. It became a popular style for both private residences and public buildings such as libraries. It was during this period that Gothic furniture, employing many of the same design elements as Gothic architecture, became popular. Elaborate carved details are found on most types of Gothic furniture. This masterly handcrafted chair, reflective of the Victorian Gothic style, features a needlework covering on the back that is framed by a hand-carved mahogany that sits prominently on sturdy candy-twist legs with ornately carved claw feet. This piece of furniture is evidence that the Victorians had a liking for the exotic and the grotesque. This particular piece features carved ornamentation, which is Victorian Gothic furniture's most distinguishing characteristic. This prayer chair displays Gothic decorative motifs in the form of carvings of grotesque figures. Gothic furnishings quite often carry a religious connotation due to the prevalence of Gothic-style architecture which is common in church design. This is evident in this particular piece as well. The needlework features a scene on the back of the chair that reminds one of a church sanctuary. This prayer chair, along with Granny Cox's portrait, are currently on display in the Verna Conant Gallery in Guy House. Thank you for joining me this month. And if you're interested in seeing these artifacts in person, you can come and visit us at the lake in Oshawa, Ontario. Guy House is open Tuesday to Friday and on Sundays from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m.